Morning. Miserable day Saturday in London at the moment. So we might paint a miser miserable picture. But the house was to myself, well with Freddie, who's just gone out and he's chewed a few brushes and had a sip of my clean painting water. Uh, but Rocky Stream seems to be very popular so we'll uh, we'll have a go at that with some some bright. I, I, I've done the two uh, tone studies with Burnt Sienna and Black. I quite enjoyed them. Got a lot of potential. I might try Black and uh, something else next, but it's going to be a part of my palette when I've used up my Payne's Grey here. Uh, there might be years of now I've got on there. But uh, anyway. Uh, now, how should we do this? We can put some, put some rocks. I've got water over my paper, and I think Freddie must have shaken. Freddie must have shaken his head with some uh, water on his chops. Okay, so we'll, we'll uh, put a bit of a bit of a rocky come across there, and we can have the water coming down here, maybe. Uh, so some rocky bits here in the water. Just to etch out around here and we'll put in... But I'm right handed and, well it's obvious, so my, I tend to be able to scrape this way with the car, so all my strata seems to be like that, rather than like that. But I, uh, so this is, we're going to have to keep this area as a sort of area of light here, if I remember. So we'll, a bit of bushes, some trees coming over the, over the screen there. Uh, but we're making this up as we go along so we can put some big rocks in in here, a bit of green maybe. Uh, and coming over there. Okay, something like that. All been done before. Right, well that's that's the basic drawing. That's all it is, that's all you need really for this type of landscape. You don't need any uh, elaborate marks. Just a guide, an aid, aid memoir, so where you're going to put paint. Just a, a design. So, I'll go back to one of my older hakes. And see how we get on with it. So I'll wet the paper all over. It's the Fabriano 130 pound. Lovely to look at was today on the telly. The mates coming around, they're all coming around for the England Ireland game tomorrow. So, dinner for eight of as my husband's wives I'll make an afternoon of it. Right, okay, so a lot of the sky is going to be covered up, so we'll, we'll keep it simple. Uh, let's have it blue, a bit of blue, and a bit of oh, I need to. Put some warm in there, don't I really, with the raw sienna. Right, okay. So we'll add some blue. Right, I'll reclip the paper. The, the palette is always is lemon yellow, 
raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt amber, paints grey and burnt sienna. So we've got, uh, oh well let's bring in some lighter colour on that horizon here. Just show, draw that down, just touch a bit of water underneath because that's dried out a little bit. Okay. Just going to clip that. Oh, I've got my cup of tea going, so I'll have to remember to drink it. Us Brits can't go anywhere without a cup of tea. I know we've got Starbucks and Costa Coffee spring up all over the place. But tea for me. Okay. Now I just want to put a background in there. So I want it bright to go into the sky. So a bit of ultramarine, a bit of alizarin. So this will give hopefully a, an impression that there's something going on in the distance because it's a cool colour and we can put in some burnt sienna in there. My recent crop of colours um, I've got from, I've got an eBay from the doll's house and they were cheaper than anything else that was online at the time that I could see and they were less than three pounds which I thought was quite good uh, bit of blue bluish on there With the light coming through there so I'll put some lemon yellow in there, why not? And into that we can put in other colours, stronger colours. Remember when your paint paper's wet with paint, if you want anything to show you've got to mix up the paint very thick. That's the one advantage of, of using paint straight out of the tube but it can be wasteful. So I'll put in a, a darker mix in that foreground. So I'll have alizarin and I'll add a bit of burnt sienna with it, but keep it on the blue side, but just a little bit stronger. Taking advantage of what bit of dry brush there is. Okay, and then we can use a fingernail and just flick out some bit of uh, texture in here and we can have some here, these probably won't show but, but they might just, uh, just a touch, I might cover them up the colour. Now I want to just establish this side here now with um, this the rock on the, the right hand side so a bit of ready colour in there this is the base colour so a bit of red bit of sienna raw sienna that is and over this I can superimpose some darker colour so blue red It's a nice dark paint on here. A 
Right now I want to mix up some green. So yeah, yellow and blue. And just put in around here to show a bit of bit of grass in there. Now we are going to come across here with the colours, the warmer rocks. Lovely rich colours in here. Let's get busy with the card, so let's just come down. Now this is where we want to separate the rocks from that green. I'll put the green there to say, indicate grass slope growing up in between the, the rocks. You could always go back with a bit of dark, put in some shadow in, in those rocks if, if you need to, or if I need to. Right, now we'll go back and texture over that with a bit of, uh, oh, oh, there's an ache. I've got three aches here. Put those two together. Let's have a sort of tea. So we want a dark, dark greeny colour to go as those little trees there. I keep repeating all this but and, and doing similar painting but you do like them or a lot of you like them and it gets you going into having a go yourself. in there. I want to get some really good darks in there. More blue. So the blue in the mix gives, gives some distance to that. Okay, so that's just hanging down on the slope there. So.
and right now we'll build up a bit of texture on this the base of this here of this side of the rocks I'm going to try and remember to leave a bit of bit of light color for for some a couple of figures maybe a couple of fishermen get that nice and Mixing my greens with lemon yellow, blue, and the burnt sienna. Let's preserve some of the light spots coming through through the trees here. So remember, cool. Remember your cool colours. The blues come forward and the reds, browns come forward. Did I say that right? Anyway, the blues disappear into the background. Okay, so so there we go. That's coming on there. I'm going to put some greeny, yellowy bank across there. Blue in here. Right. Now we're going to put in some, some grassy stuff in there. So let's see if we can dilute some of this this lemon yellow. I didn't spray my my paints first. Let's just get that paint coming across here. And in that, I'll put in some rocks. Just add in some warmer colours in here. And some nice rocky colours in here. Red and blues. Burnt sienna, warm. So when you etch out, you get lots of different colours in your rocks. out the rocks in there, the put a few in here. Come across here. There's some little cooler rocks on, on here. Okay, let's do a bit of bit of uh, warm. Green, should put a few greens up here really, but now just using the dry brush possibilities on this.
now to put some darker greens in the shadow of these trees here. Try to preserve the 3D effect of all this. So nice warm darks there. Then into that we can Right, okay, that seems to be all right. Let's uh, just put a texture in some of this here. Grasses. It makes it look as if there's a lot going on there when in fact there isn't, but we've got to create this impression. Now, um, oh dear, what am I doing? I want to put in some some rocks on here, of course. So we'll have burnt sienna. I haven't used burnt umber for a while. That's a you'd burnt umber, burnt umber and blue. Some sienna in there. Not registered. This sienna has been so, so long. It's wonder any of it comes off. Okay, now hold on to your ears, I'm going to just try to put in the water here. And what I'm going to try, and well I'll explain that when I've done, done the drying, so just hold on. It's all in shadow really, so I'm going to pipe, just put it in a sort of shadowy dark, darky greeny something.
I'm going to have to try that again. Just, uh... Right. Then we'll put the water on. Right, hold your ears. The reason we're done drying it off is that when I put the, the wash over the top now, it, uh, it won't disturb the paint that's underneath. So, uh, so we've got blue sky, haven't we? So that's a bit of blue, a bit of red. Okay, for better or for worse. Now I'm going to detail some of these trees now. While that dries, I might put in a bit of heavier wash underneath it, it's a bit action. So my usual burnt sienna and ultra. <coughs> okay, now let's go in with some. Mm. A bit dark, but I just want you to blue there, a light blue. Put a bit of meat on the end of some of these. Right, now we've got to get into the uh, meat of the left hand side now. Need a lot of water for this and probably green would be a better colour for some of these. I won't put everything in because you'll get bored. 
as we lie. But we want nice thick trees. Another one in, a warmer one. Probably another one of just a few <clears throat> bits and pieces up here. The more blue in this as we're going into the further into the wood. Well, so far so good. Now, just a bit of bit of shadow in, in here. Right. So it's just a few. few dark bits as, as rock shadow. Otherwise it doesn't look too 3D, so we've got to just put that other plane in there, here and there, not a lot. Right, okay, not much I want to do to that. Clean my brush, we've put in a signature, a few little rigger strokes again in here just to Right, signature. And now I reckon we could put a figure on here. Uh, have we climbed up there? Oh, 
Oops. That's a little bit of red in there, I reckon. Okay, it just gives a bit of scale to it. I hope. Hopefully that will dry a little more. We'll just make it dry a little bit. That'll do. That's a bit better. Don't need two more bits, do we? Okay, so tumbling, tumbling stream, <coughs> as good as I can do at the moment. I'm still working on my technique on those. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, have a zoom around the place. So let's start with that clump of trees. Good device for highlighting the, the edge of that rock. Little figure there, a couple of birds. And then you can see where I've tried to show the reflection. See, this would be dark, it wouldn't be white. And the streams are quite, there's quite a lot of dark in them for reflecting the sky and their surroundings, but we've got to have some highlights. Um, no, anyway, not much more I can say about that bit. Let me tumbly bits. Our rocks going up into the, the wood behind, roughly painted. Gives an idea of bits of ivy and stuff climbing up the trees or hanging on the trees. And then into the distance. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. I might do another one this morning or I might not. But either way, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.